All right, welcome to Naturally Aspirated, presented by Cars Assured Park. I am Dave, Mr. Cars Assured Park, and we are here with Chili today. So, it's me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, just want to say thank you for the support on our last podcast. We had over 230 listens, so that's awesome. Let's keep it up, let's keep going, let's grow that. Um, do you want to just hop yeah. right into it, or might as well, eh? Yeah, me as well. I mean, let's just go. Yeah. Which, one, which one do you want to start first on? Let's start with the Koenigsegg. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of cars that came out when the Geneva Motor Show was supposed to happen. Obviously it didn't, but these are a couple things that uh, came out during that time. I wrote an article on this one on our website, the Koenigsegg Gamera. Initial thoughts. Well, uh, I was reading up on it and it said that it with uh, the new hybrid system inside, it could go up to a thousand kilometers between fills. So I was like, that's pretty insane for a sports car considering, you know, they kind of burn gas like crazy, but because it's a hybrid, I was like, well, well damn. I mean, most cars don't get that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So they do that with their, they have a 2.0 liter, three cylinder, 600 horsepower engine, three cylinder, 600 horsepower. That is insane. Um, Paired with three electric motors, one on the drive shaft, and that goes to the front uh, wheels with the engine. So it's actually front wheel drive initially, and then one on each of the rear wheels. Comes out to 1,700 horsepower. That is insane. That's all right. It's not bad at all. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a gorgeous car too. Like once again, oh, absolutely. Koenigsegg can't do anything wrong. That like Christian von Koenigsegg, first of all, absolute genius. If you haven't read my article and watched the video at the bottom with Mr. JWW, watch that. Um, warning: you might feel like you're very stupid after to see someone can be that smart and just like. But actually, maybe for you. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> the guy's insane, right? <laughs> he, he starts talking about how the engine can burn this biofuel stuff that he's making that's carbon neutral. It's like... Yeah, that's like Cars 3 when uh, I, that, like, lemon car tried to, like, come up with this uh, new type of gasoline. I remember. And he ended up being a bad guy, but still great. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, yeah. But... It's got Koenigsegg doors, as usual. The mechanism that like kind of swings out and up over the curb. But they're massive, and they look they look sweet when they are up. They're so tall. Yeah, they're taller than the car by a lot. Like, there's like double the car. At least double, yeah. And it, it just it looks so aggressive. It looks sweet. Yeah, it's just... Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah. interior, though, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, interior, it's got... As usual, Koenigsegg stuff, just top-notch quality, everything, everything. the best. <laughs> um, it's got the speedometer on the steering wheel that when you turn the steering wheel, it always faces straight for you. So it kind of rotates. Yeah. It's always showing the number straight. Like, yeah. I don't know how to say it's it. Lot, like, um, it's like gyroscope. You know how it keeps everything level always? That's there you basically go. What it's there doing. we go. Yeah. All right, so... Four seater, have we even mentioned that? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think, think we so. have. <laughs> so first of all, this is a four seat Koenigsegg with seventeen hundred horsepower. And a top so speed. yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're at the red light. You go zero to one hundred in one point nine seconds, and you keep going, and you get to a top speed of four hundred kilometers an hour. Yeah, with I your... mean, the people in the passenger seat and back seat might have blacked out from the G's, but I mean, you're, you're still driving, you, so it's possibly. okay. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, yeah, I don't even know. Um, like the Koenigsegg Regera, it has no gearbox as well, which is how they do this with their little like cone thing that moves up and just gets like, it works as kind of one moving gear. It's, yeah, that's the the engineering behind this is just insane. That's an amazing car, Koenigsegg. Yeah, just everything. I never thought I'd see a four seat Koenigsegg. So it's saying the combustion engine runs on renewable alcohol fuel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
is what I was saying. It can, but obviously. obviously. That's what he's, well, that's what he's trying to, yeah. to do. Yeah. Which would just be insane. I mean, revolutionary for the world. Yeah. You know, that's like, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Headlights, super aggressive. Front end, super aggressive. Looks great. Rear end's the only thing that's not the best looking, but it's not bad looking. I wouldn't say it's bad looking. It's just not really up to par with the rest of the car. It doesn't matter. When you pass people going 400 kilometers an hour, they only see the rear of your car for a couple seconds anyways. Yeah, they, and they're... then they'll just be like, their head will turn so quickly. They'll be like, what the... Yeah. What was that? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Absolutely insane car. Once again, by Koenigsegg. Beautiful, gorgeous. Any last thoughts on it? I mean, mostly this interior is like a bright. I can't even. I don't even know what color that is. I'm not a colors guy, but it's like a yellow, like with a little bit of something else in it, and it just like makes everything about the car just pop with that black and yellow contrast type of thing. Absolutely. The yeah, the launch spec there and, with that. Dark yeah. stone gray but it's not it's not a satin gray or anything like that it's kind of it's no like, it's really nice yeah. and like there's a lot of the yellow and you think it may be overpowering inside the car but it kind of just it works yeah absolutely it, it does so i think yeah. um koning's egg says four people uh six foot one can fit in there comfortably comfortably which yeah. is yeah yeah it's a lot of there's also a for screen us. for the people in the back i don't know really what it does exactly but yeah we haven't seen that yet like a, but but it looks cool yeah. it looks cool it looks cool play some games on there maybe or something like that yeah maybe you can see, like what if they put a camera on the front so you can see like what the car sees i think there's something like that i can't i can't yeah. remember it that would be so cool just seeing how fast the road's going by you yes that'd be insane from like car level oh Ooh. my god so it doesn't have rear view mirrors it has cameras. No, it has cameras. Yeah. Which, car number one, that's illegal in North America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Koenigsegg said they will, if customers want to buy it in North America, they're willing to modify it. Um, what that is, it might have to do a little bit with the bumpers and obviously the mirrors. They need real mirrors in North America. So, I mean, so time to move is what you're saying. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's get over. Let's get over the... Yeah. Over the pond I, there. Easier said than done, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Car okay, number... I, do you want to move on now? Or... Yeah, absolutely. Car number two, okay. that's also illegal in North America. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Bentley Mulliner Bacalar. The Bacalar. Bacalar. <laughs> Not enough phlegm came up when you said that for it to be appropriate. Let's, come on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, um... <laughs> So, Mulliner was a coach building company back in the day, in like the 30s and stuff. For you guys who don't know what coach building is, coach building was um, the actual car company used to sell like the powertrain and the chassis, and the coach builder would build the shell on the outside and the inside, like the seats and stuff, the interior. So, what Mulliner actually has involvement in this, I don't believe they're a real company at all anymore from my research. Um, I think it's just Bentley paying a tribute to them. It's kind of like a separate um, division within Bentley now. So that's what it's, it is. It's not like the Ford Mustang Mach-E where they're just sealing the name and ruining everything about it, but it's, yeah, so, it's still nice. <laughs> well, Bentley has brought over coach building style. There's 12 of these. Um, going to production, they are all sold out, and every single one will be completely different. You can change anything about the appearance, interior, exterior, whatever you want. The customer has complete freedom. Which is, I mean, that's isn't that the whole thing about behind Bentley is that you get the custom car to you? Exactly. And you can make it as luxurious, as sporty as you want. So for those of you who remember the XP100 GT concept, it is the front end is based on that. So it's got that big aggressive grill and those headlights with kind of like the streaks coming out of them. Looks pretty sweet. So what do you think about the front end? Honestly, not much of a fan. I think it's just too bulky for my opinion. I, I like a little bit slimmer. You know, I'm not much of a thick guy myself. 
So, yeah, that's, that's the only, really the only negative thing I have about this car, though. I like that they chose, again, uh, seems like a lot of car companies are going with this yellow that kind of pops off of contrasting black, you know, with uh, the black road and everything you're driving on, and then you have that yellow that pops. Um, that's what they chose as the c- color to show everyone kind of what this looks like but like dave said you get to choose whatever color you want and i don't know i feel like they'd probably sell a couple of them in yellow just based off of this photo and like damn like the headlights are just they're like slim and like sleek looking and they're just they're very nice i just don't like this front end the rest of it too much yeah it's very bulky and the reason why it's so bulky is um, it has a carried over by Turbo W12 from the Bentley Continental GT convertible, which is the car it's based on the chassis. Uh, very similar. But it comes out to, I actually did the exact calculation for what the price is. Um, okay. Into Canadian dollars as of today, which is, what is today? April 5th, something like that? I think so, yeah. I think so. <laughs> and I don't even know. Days are just fictitious at fictitious at this point yeah we just exactly. wake up and stay at home so exactly. it's either weekday or weekend it's no, no they're all weekend it's just, <laughs> you know do your thing <laughs> wake up and put some pants on please that's that's all we ask maybe we'll see <laughs> so it, yeah the price comes out to 2.6 million dollars canadian is the equivalent uh, today on april 5th 2020 which 2020 is- for Bentley is insane. That's yeah. That's Pagani. That's regular Pagani Koenigsegg money. Uh, it's it's more... also it also has no roof on the car as well. Mm-hmm. So convertible, which is yeah. Oh man, now I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I think it's a speedster. Like it doesn't have a roof ever. Yeah. Nothing comes. I think up. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It also it says that yeah. It says here. Uh, it's a roadster and features 5,000 year old wood on the interior. So, yes, that was the launch one, the one in the yellow. I was getting to that yeah. 5,000 year old wood on the interior. Um, I'm assuming that costs a lot. I I would assume so as well. That's I also mean, anything 5,000 years old. Yeah, the fact that it's even lasted that long is ridiculous. So it's got that Bentley rotating center console. It's got the three things. Uh, either it can be the wood finish. You press a button, it rotates to your nav. You're like your touch screen, you press another button and it can rotate just the clocks and uh, a couple gauges. So it's got three different looks. It's pretty cool. Like That comes over from the, um, I don't know, Continental GT, all their previous cars of the past couple of years. Um, upgraded 22 inch wheels, but back to the front, yes, um, the W12 is why it looks so big and bulky up there because it's such a massive engine. You know, according to Bentley, um like Mulliner, I can't say it. I'm terrible at reading. Mul- Anyways, partially illiterate. Um, traces its history back to the 1500s when it was customizing horse-drawn carriages. So the uh, like they're kind of throwing it back there by using the old wood. They're saying like this is a historic car mm-hmm. more than anything else. Yeah, because they're also saying it's the most rare two-door of the modern era, Bentley. Yeah, Which, absolutely. Meeting twelve, right? That's why it costs two point six million dollars. That rare price yeah. tag, people. I mean, we'll have to wait till what act you listen to, like what the customer who actually purchases the car says about the car. Yeah, and then you can actually understand what's kind of going on behind the scenes with it. But yeah. until that, it's still a nice looking car. Yeah, the, you like the rear? I think the rear looks pretty cool, those um, oh, yeah. horizontal rear very, lights. Very nice. Slim. And if you look at it from like, uh, like sky view, looking down on the car, it just is so nice. Yeah, it is, absolutely. A little ducktail spoiler kind of thing like, on the uh, yeah. on the back there for aero. Help keep that rear end planted. The wheels on the launch car are pretty sweet. They're just oh. like abstract <laughs> like they don't even yeah, look like I, I, I don't think i've ever seen like ribs be styled like that there's no before. design to that it's just random no it's just it like, like yeah but it looks sweet it looks it, really cool it, yeah and how it says back on the back there like yeah. that uh 
that's a nice font too <laughs> adds it's attention to detail they they yeah. did pay Absolutely. every little bit all right i got nothing else to say about the bacalar how about you uh neither do i i think that's everything on that next up um, and uh, something else from Bugatti. So after the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, Bugatti's um, CEO there said that they're done. They achieved their goal of 300 plus <laughs> miles an hour. Um, they're not going to be chasing that anymore. So now they've come out with something completely different. A track Yeah, 400 style. plus miles. Let's go, baby. <laughs> come on. <laughs> A track styled chiron it's yeah gears are sh shorter pardon me jeez choked on my own tongue <laughs> yeah spit it out <laughs> shorter gears jeez. massive rear wing extended um arrow everywhere to help keep that car planted this is not about going at top speed the fastest it can go because we know it's the fastest car in the world that engine is the same engine but yeah. this one is about going around a track as fast as possible, which is a different direction than we've seen Bugatti go recently. But I'm excited. They can make some amazing machines. Yeah, this thing is a, it's a work of art. It is. And just, if you look at the way the curves are on this thing, it's it's got some sex appeal to it, really. Like, Absolutely. it's curvy. And it's just... Oh, I can't even describe how like nice looking this car is. To be honest with you, <laughs> so to the naked eye, it looks like a Chiron, but if you put them side by side, you can see little things. The headlights are slanted a little more. A little little minute detail differences. Yes. Yes, little minor <laughs> stuff. But eighty percent of the car is redesigned. So if you slowly, like I said, put them side by side, zoom in to different things, you can see stuff. That front splitter all around the front grille. Um, yeah. The headlights, like I said, are angled a little different. For that air intake next to the headlight closest to the center same w16 from the chiron like i said absolute beast you know fastest engine in the world that's what it is yeah and that's what you get yeah 1500 horsepower track toy that's what they're calling this baby yeah a so track toy <laughs> but it's street legal as well it's not just limited to yeah. track which makes it <laughs> To have that much horsepower it's still be street legal and a track toy Un unbelievable which is insane yeah i just thought i wrote down they're only making 60 of them yes another limited bugatti which like i don't even know what a not limited bugatti how many they sell they're all around 60 50 <laughs> right um top speed yeah. 350 electronically limited at 350 due to the gear ratios you don't want to blow up your transmission so quite a bit oh, slower. that would that would be unfortunate <laughs> yeah that would so quite a bit slower than the uh than the previous chiron super sport 300 plus but m much more practical and much more of an actual all-around car um yes yeah Front spring, 65% stiffer. Rear springs, 33% stiffer. Most people who um, drive a Chiron say it's a luxury car when you're driving at slow speeds. This one, not as much. The stiffer springs to get it around the track in the fastest possible way. So on the road, it might be rough. But if you're a billionaire who likes to take you through... And you're million, buying a car like this, I don't think you're going to be driving on the road. Oh, yeah, I, I think you're three hundred you know, million. Unless you know, you're being like just yeah. Three hundred million, three, three million, three hundred million. Could you imagine? Three hundred million dollars for a car Could is you it made out of solid gold? <laughs> the three million dollar car. Yeah, you're not driving it on the road. Like are track. like is the are the rims made out of diamonds? Yeah. Like I need to know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I don't have the zero to one hundred. Two point three seconds. Yes, the standard shear on is 2.4. So barely faster, but faster. Yeah, still quick. Yeah, that's unbelievable car. Gorgeous. Well done, Bugatti. What do you think of the rear? Rear, very controversial. I've seen a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. It's got that almost Devo-styled rear, very open, and um, a light bar across the back. 
it's it's super open because of that. Yeah. What is that? Because the airflow. It's got W16, man. You got to cool that thing off or it's going to yeah. explode. So that's all. Yeah, the, blow up. That's so, all the suck I out, mean, right? for what they have, like what they have to work with, it looks nice. But for actually how it looks, uh, it's iffy. Because, I mean, it's not as sleek. It's kind of bulky looking. Like the, I mean, the. The light bar across, I, I do like that look. But uh, the rest of it's just, I mean, it's nice, obviously, but it's not as nice as I feel like it could be. Yeah, but, yeah, it's it's an interesting look, but extremely practical, and I think they were forced to go that way just because of the engine well, and stuff, right? They need, it needs to be as open as possible because of that thing. That's a beast. It needs, it needs to be <laughs> That's an understatement calling this thing a beast. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. To the Italian card. <laughs> Which, let's make our ancestors proud. I'm going to try to say it first, and then you go find the spelling. I want you to say it after me, okay? <laughs> I won't be able to say it, but that's okay. We'll try our best. I'm try. <laughs> okay. Alfa Romeo, Giulia Quadrofoglio, Gran Turismo, alla Garita. Yeah, give me a whole sec, you know, <laughs> Google that so I can... Uh, also, so I can... I'll just, for normal, yeah, go ahead. non-Italians, Alfa Romeo, Giulia, Quadrofoglio, GTA, and GTA M. Alfa Romeo, Giulia Quadrofoglio, Gran Turismo. I don't know. That was alright. You gotta say the A part too. You just said Gran Turismo. What's the A part? Alagarita. Alagarita. I can't do that one. I don't have the tongue roll. Alagarita. Is... It's a beast. 540 horsepower from their 2.9 twin turbo V6 developed alongside Ferrari. And Ferrari no longer supplying engines to the Fiat Chrysler group since they bought majority of their shares, became them their own majority shareholder. So, 0 to 103.6, again, five-seater, the GTA, 3.6 and a five-seater, perfect. You know, get the family to church quickly. Um, yes, except, you know, churches are closed right now, so. Well. Just get the family to the church parking lot yes, real quick. Exactly, exactly. This is the wor I have the most trouble with this company that I'm about to say that supplied the exhaust. It has the Krapovich exhaust system. That sounded, I said it kind of quick, and it sounded pretty good. Yeah, very, I, I'll give you credit on that. That's way better than what I could even attempt to because I don't think that's how letters are supposed to be arranged. Oh, yeah, it's Croatian or something, so <laughs> yeah. it's definitely difficult for <laughs> our English minds to wrap ahead around. Because we're on the phone. What it does have, both GTA and GTA M, the drive shaft, hood, roof, front bumper, and wheel arches are carbon fiber and opposed to whatever the hell they were before in the Quadrifolio. But just a lighter, sturdier, race car-esque material. GTA M has a, the carbon fiber rear wing at the back that looks absolutely menacing, unbelievable. And That was a good word, menacing. You were using aggressive menacing. a lot, and I do like menacing more than I like the word aggressive. <laughs> It looks menacing though, eh? From the yeah, like the yes back. It does. The back looks That's a great descriptive word. That was an excellent <laughs> adjective. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, grade nine English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta thank him for something. <laughs> and the GTA M has a roll cage and only two seats. Four door, two seats, and a roll cage in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I know when I wrote the article, a couple people replied to me, were messaging me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook saying, why are you, are, did you get this right? And I was like, yeah, that, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it says. That's yeah. what it, it's just, as we wait for the GTV, which is the coupe, which I saw now is back on the list for Alpha Mail that previously they said they weren't going to make it anymore, but it's back. Uh, just a little something for the in-between. You know, they had to do something. It's been a while. Had to 
update the Quadrifolio and Julia's in general. And this was a great way to do it. I, I definitely agree with that statement right there. It's got uh, what else? that beautiful Go Italian ahead. styling, though. Hey, as usual. Oh, like yes. The motto for Julia in North America on their commercials is she'll steal your heart for these cards. Yeah. It's true. They just look so good. They <laughs> like, do. They just have the, the right amount of class to, um, well, kind of like, I use this word a lot, but sexiness, you know. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's got the menacing look i'll just bring it back <laughs> one more time but it also looks classy i shouldn't have pumped your tires too much <laughs> there hey you're just gonna use that word so much now and everyone's just gonna be like oh there's menacing again <laughs> jesus <laughs> but it, it's really it's got that luxury look along with that aggressive look see <laughs> uh, i tried to get me to say oh i did use menacing there <laughs> you had to think twice about that one <laughs> I tried hard. After this, you're going to be like searching up um, synonyms to aggressive <laughs> and menacing. Yeah, I'm not going to make this mistake twice. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, you're going to have, have it written down beside you too. Like, I got, my little notepad. <laughs> got my little notepad yeah. beside me all the time. Next podcast is just yeah. going to be full of synonyms to aggressive. <laughs> synonyms. Yeah, synonyms. <laughs> it's a beautiful car as usual. Just when you didn't really think that the Julia Quadrifolio could be updated to look even more beautiful somehow they've gone absolutely insane with arrow and upgrades and kept it looking gorgeous yeah i don't think uh, well this went... interior too is so nice yeah so nice like all this leather is just so well stitched on and everything and all these little details and all the little buttons and everything it's just it's well done the interior is very well done and i mean that's when you're driving the car, that's what you're looking at. And you're like, wow, this, if the outside looks this nice, you're like, oh, dang. And it does. So yeah, absolutely. Time. Well, I, did you also see what else they're throwing in when you buy the car? It says Alfa Romeo, like to sweeten the deal is throwing in a helmet, GTA library, racing suit, gloves, and shoes. Yeah. And a personalized true. car cover. That's and tuition awesome. to Alfa Romeo driving Academy with every car. That's sick. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. That's so cool. They're going to teach you how to drive this car fast when you buy the car. Exactly. Well, use it. It's no garage queen is the term that we use yeah. in the automotive world. Yeah, it is interesting to see what car companies will be doing with all of this going on as well. Yeah, don't expect really cars to depreciate massively, unfortunately, which I would love. I would love if cars just, you know... Prices just dropped in half all of a sudden. Yeah, so you can buy a nice car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm getting, yeah, something nice. <laughs> for yeah. And then everybody's driving nice cars, and it's like, oh, you have a nice car too. Oh. One last thing about the Alpha 500 will be made between the two, not available in North America, once again. Yep, just another dream crusher right there. Okay, so now bear has woken up or something he'll be joining <laughs> us and we're gonna do maybe five to ten more minutes so we'll be right back we don't have a sponsor read approved yet so just not be, that well just be yeah i don't they they probably listened to the last podcast and they're like i don't think i want any of those illiterate guys to be <laughs> a, an ad <laughs> Welcome back. We are here with Bear now. And we're going to go through his thoughts. I forget what order we went in ourselves. We but... went in um, whatever the opposite of alphabetically is. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so let's start with Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg. Gamera. What are your thoughts on that, Bear? I think it's an absolute beast. Oh, Doors good. are big. Looks sweet. Like... And oh, it's yeah. a beast. It's powerful. It's awesome. It looks like a it looks like a Porsche from the side, but um, I really like it. I like it's. Sorry, it's like um, four seats. Which Porsche? The silhouette. Uh, I, I mean, I'm looking I guess, at it on the on the website right I now. I guess it's a little. Yeah, I could see that because it's a mid-engine, front-wheel drive four-seater. So, 
Yeah, actually, I, a, little, a little bit. I could. Oh, that was my that was my that was my first thought, and then obviously the doors throw that off. But the doors are sick. Eh? They're twice as tall as the car. It's twice Absolute the size beast. of the car when you lift it up. Like I know, it's a beast. So it has a two point zero liter liter three cylinder six hundred horsepower engine. That is crazy. Three cylinder six hundred horsepower. Eh? Three electric yeah, motors. It's... One on the drive shaft. Well, that's crazy. I was gonna say, like, uh, do they use like ERS? I don't, I don't know if it's plug-in hybrid or what. I'm assuming. I don't want to assume. I don't know. I'm you not sure. Assume. You can't assume. No, that's. But 400 km an hour top speed, four seater, zero to 100 in 1.9 seconds. Wow. wow. Get the family to a cruise Those pretty crazy quick. Stats. That's unreal. Crazy stats. Yeah, so it's 0 to 62 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. Yeah, that's the same thing. No. Did you, wait, did you say kilometers or miles? It zero said to 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, I still can't hear. It's lagging hard. <laughs> I have like 1,000 Mbps right now. I gotta love living out there, eh? I have seen bison and cougars, so... <laughs> Alright, Bentley, Mulliner... Bach. There you go. Alar. There we go. Alar. <laughs> There's the official pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, is... when people uh, search what, up how... What do you guys think of this one? how to say it. I don't know, I'm kinda... I, I said like I like it, at the front. Then. It's kinda big at the front because of that W16 up front. Which makes it look yeah, a little chunky, like a, but I, I like it. Looks like it. a boat. It does look like a boat. <laughs> it looks like it's it like looks one of those like, like paddle boats. <laughs> That's what you're thinking. It, it looks like it looks like when a giant like wears a car as a shoe. <laughs> he'd be wearing this car. Oh my god! It looks <laughs> like shoes. those cartoon shoes, like boots with the really big toe. <laughs> <laughs> no better segue <laughs> into a Bugatti, a French car company, Bugatti. You're, you're... <sighs> Chili, you're the best at it. <laughs> Say it, please. Yeah, good one, Dave. Great job. <laughs> Anyways, Le Bugatti Per Spa is. <laughs> and there goes Top the speed wifi. 350 kilometers an hour. Yeah, so. 1500 horsepower. Slow down, track version. They're not going for that uh, top speed anymore, right? Whatever, oh, Chiron Supersport. I'm just on their website. Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, they said. That's it. They achieved their goal. Now they want to build a track beast. Here it is. Looks pretty sweet. Should be pretty cool. It should be very cool. I mean, it's got that airflow, so it should cool off really well. Yeah. We talked about that on the rear end, how it's like wide yeah. open for like 10 minutes. Yeah, no, it looks <laughs> wicked, yeah. Any other yeah, thoughts it on crazy. it, Yeah, well, I know the Chiron was, like, the first one that was really drivable. Because I know, the, I know, like, the Veyron was just, like, driving, like, a boat. Like, it was so big and mm -hmm. just impossible to really drive anywhere. And I know the, this was a lot easier to actually drive. And mm -hmm. so I, I definitely think the, uh, they seem to do what they want, you know. Like, they wanted to make the fastest car ever, and they did it, so... Yeah. They want to make that Unreal Track car. I'm sure they've done it. Like, Yeah, they can just do whatever they like, especially with that. They got the pocket of Volkswagen Group. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, they don't miss. They yeah. don't miss. Yeah, they aim for something, and then they just hit it. And not only do they hit it, they, like, hit it out of the park. Yeah, for sure. Like, you could be throwing, like, a 104-mile-per-hour fastball at them, and they'll still smoke it. Like, that's how good they are right now. Yeah. Just, yeah, just playing for the Astros. <laughs> The news coming. <laughs> Guy's just like, just like tweaking a little bit because of the buzz yeah. on his muscle. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrofoglio Gran Turismo Alla Garita. Thoughts? The, the WRX Ultra. What? <laughs> what? What? It's, a, it's, it's just the Alfa wrx man <laughs> no it's not i guess it's, it's i mean it's not a hatch but i mean it's got a 2.9 turbo it? v6 with 540 horsepower 0 to 16 3.6 seconds drive shaft hood roof front bumper 
and wheel arches are carbon fiber in the GTA. Yeah, I didn't say it was sick. I didn't say it wasn't sick, man. <laughs> you just said it was yeah, a WRX. Like, yeah. No, it just looks like, it, it looks like a WRX sedan to me. Wow. That's just what I'm looking at. Hey, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, Dave. You can't just like, get mad because it's Italian and he doesn't like it. That's a... I just... <laughs> I'm not mad at his opinion. It's just, I think you're going to break some people's I, I like I like Alphas. It just looks like a WRX sedan. <laughs> How? <laughs> Next thing you know, he's going to be carry, like comparing Bugatti to a Honda Civic. Be like, yeah, the... like, wow, they look the same. That's not funny, okay? When I uh, when I posted a picture of a Volkswagen Beetle and said, "Sick 911," I saw the other day, people got mad at me. <laughs> <Would you? laughs> can... Did they actually? Yeah, a couple guys were actually pissed. <laughs> I'm like, dude, relax. It's a joke. <laughs> like, That's obviously. Comedy though. That is yeah, it's all, it's all comedy. joke. Day. Then like, I got some stern messages that day. Were they menacing? They were menacing. <laughs> Get out of here. I just hope they weren't too aggressive with you. <laughs> oh, man. Just taking the abuse today. Yeah, take out anything stupid I say, because I did not look at this alpha at all. <laughs> yeah, we could tell by, like, the moment you said, uh... That, that, is, that, that actually is, like, my first impression of it, though. Yeah. It looks like a WRX sedan. Yeah, but if you read up on it, it's, like, it's pretty... No, sick, I know it's actually. sick. It's like 540 horse. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know it's the, like and a then the, car, and I love I, the, I like The GTA M? Yeah, I mean, did you see any of that? Did you see what that's about? No. Oh, definitely do some reading on that. That's it's pretty sick. It's, uh, it's basically a sports car at that point. Like, it only seats two because it's got a roll cage in it. The one with the rear wing. The GTA doesn't actually have yeah. a rear wing on it. But yeah, that's the one I think looks like a <laughs> WRX sedan. <laughs> It's literally a race car for the road. Tell me it doesn't, man. Tell me it doesn't. I know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not sick, man. Tell me it doesn't look like a WRX to that. I don't think it looks like it at all. I'm looking at, is it Gamera or Gamera? 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 I'm looking at the Gamera from the, from the front. Gamera. It looks like uh, Mazda Miata. The front grill. Oh, never mind. Does it look like a know, Miata? It, no, it looks like a, it looks like a, like an anime girl, like grimacing almost. So, like the headlights in <laughs> the front grill. It looks like a wide open mouth, like a like a. Don't you mean like hentai? A shark mouth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. One thing I forgot to mention, actually, what Christian von Koenigsegg said, they used the Miata as inspiration. I don't. That's not a good thing to admit. Man, I don't know about you, but I think Miatas are sick. Uh, they're pretty cool, but you they can really like turn those. You can turn those into. Beasts. I would never get one though. They're just, really? They're like hairdresser cars. I would consider one. It's just because of the yeah. That's the th the previous. What do you? How do you? How do you say that? Like the stigma. Yeah, stigma. There we go. What about the what year? I think, if I you think were it's to get stigma, that, what year? Well, I'd either be a Mark One or I really like the new ones. Honestly, a Mark One would be my ideal choice. But uh, I've seen some nice Mark Twos. Um, and the new ones I think are pretty cool too. All right. Thank you for listening. Let's wrap this on up. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're on Spotify, Speaker, or Apple Podcasts, follow us and feel free to rate us. You guys got anything to say? Chili? Uh, yeah, just, you know, thanks for the continued support. Listen to the podcast. You know, let your friends know that sometimes we can be a little bit funny. <laughs> Bear. Uh, stay at home, stay safe, and drink lots of water. <laughs> Words of wisdom. And eat vegetables. Lots of you know, vitamins in there. It's, it's general advice. Never hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You hear it here. Yeah, anytime. Here first from the... Uh... Hey, man, I did good in bio, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys, thank you for watching. Yeah.